I know I have brought to you dry mounting in the past for your um, pay by numbers. So what I have today is I'm actually standing in front of the dry mount machine, so I apologize for the sound, and it's running, and it's actually dry mounting one of my paintings right now. But I wanted to show you how I set this up and what exactly is involved, since the first video I didn't have the ability to do that. So what you see is I have two Masterpiece by Numbers paintings. They've been rolled. They're not bad shape at all, but you see a little bit of rolling here. Nothing major, nothing major at all. But what this does is it's gonna allow me to have a sturdy board to paint on. So if I wanna prop this on an easel or whatever, it's a lot easier to work with. I can just pick it up and go. So this is a piece of board that has a heat activated adhesive built into it. This is the only kind of board um, unless the place you go to dry mount has something called fusion mount and they'll know what I'm talking about. You don't need to know all those details. But if you go to a location that has dry mounting, then um, they will have that option. So what I'm doing is I'm letting this run. I've set my program to program four and um, our system is probably very antiquated here. But I'm letting it go, and I'm not going to sit here and watch the timer tick down, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when it comes out. So, if you would just hang on, I'll be right back with a finished dry mount piece. Let's open this bad, bo bad boy up and see what we've got. Let me move these off the top. I'm going to open up my machine. It's actually locked down. You'll see it's like suction cupped because it vacuum seals it. And this is super hot. But you know, I've just got to reach right in here and grab it because that's how I roll. Throw caution to the wind. Burn myself. But there you go. Look how perfect it is. So let me lay it here so we can kind of peruse it. Do you see how flat? There's no wrinkles and there's nothing. This texture is beautiful. It's not messed up. And it is a perfect surface to work with and all I have to do is just pick it up and take it and put it on my easel if I have an easel or a tabletop or my lap or a lap board however you paint this is a great way to just take it with you it makes it portable but also you can just trim it down when you're ready to frame it and stick it in a frame and it's already secure and here's a good example of a canvas that needs to be ironed or dry mounted or something it's gotten bent and shipping and they rolled it real nicely and everything. Um, this is from Paint Plot, uh, but it did come in with some bending. So, in that corner, you can see it's all kind of bent up. So I'm gonna dry mount this one and show you what it looks like afterward. So this one's finished from Paint Plot, and you can see all of the creasing is completely flattened out of it. And it took seven minutes and the dry mount machine. And the only reason I'm doing it on seven, normally I would do it on a um, different setting, but with canvas, it will stay better um, if you do it in a little higher setting. Now this, after it's cool, if you want, can be removed at some point. It does not have to be permanent. Um, if you were, if you'd done paper, it would be permanent, but with the canvas and this material, it will peel off if you want it to. Otherwise, it will stay on here as long as you need it to. So if you decide when you go to frame it that you want to stretch it as a canvas, as I've mentioned in another video, then you can take this off and um, stretch it on a canvas, or you can just trim it and put it in a frame, or you can mat it and put it in a frame. So this gives you a lot of options. Okay, I hope this has been very helpful for you guys to see the before and after of dry mounting. Okay, I hope this was a good visual for you guys and kind of helped you understand the dry mounting process. Um, and I appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to click the little notification bell so you can be notified of future videos. Thank you as always for watching.